Hey guys, it's Matt here, and we're going to show you how to access the programming menu on the Pulsar LT on this 2020 Chevy Silverado. First, we take our foot off of the brake, make sure the key is in the vehicle, and just press and hold the start button until the little light on the start button turns green. It takes about five seconds. Now you'll notice your dash and everything will illuminate, uh, indicating that it is in the run position without the vehicle running. Now, to access the uh, modes, you can clear any messages you have by pressing OK. We have our hood open, so that's why you saw that message. But in this instance, what we want to do is press and hold the cruise cancel button here on the left side of your steering wheel. Press and hold it for about five seconds until your speedometer sweeps up to 140. As you can see, it sweeps up to 140 there. And uh, it's best to be on the digital speedometer screen here in the center cluster as well so that you can see those values being adjusted. Now from here, we have the option to go into the seven different programming features that we have available. Those are speed limiter adjustment, TPMS adjustment, tire size correction, axle ratio, clear DTCs, auto start stop disable, and DFM disable, which is the active fuel management or better known in these vehicles as the dynamic fuel management feature. Now to select which mode that you'd like to adjust, you simply use the res er, er, and set buttons here on the cruise control. So if you notice here, you press the up button and you can see the speedometer is starting to change and adjust for the modes that we're selecting. So we can go all the way up to 70 because there are seven modes. So as I'm going up through here, you can see the analog speedometer and the digital speedometer are both reacting to each of these button presses. Now, to access the actual programming settings that you'd like to adjust, you use the cruise cancel button. For example, the 10 mile per hour marker is the speed limiter adjustment. So if we hit cruise cancel here, you'll notice it'll sweep up to 140. And that has indicates that you are in the speed limiter adjustment menu. So from here, you have the ability to adjust from anywhere from 82 mile per hour speed limit to 140 mile per hour speed limit. We are preset at 135, but I can come in here and use the cruise control button here for the res or set option and adjust that up or down. So right now I'm hitting the down arrow towards the set option. And as you can see, it's dropping uh, the speed limiter down. So the digital display is telling you what you've got the value at. And say in this particular application, we wanna do 110 mile per hour. So that's where we want our speed limiter set. So we select it to 100 mile per hour using the resin set buttons, then press cruise cancel to save that into the vehicle. Now the Pulsar LT just wrote that into the vehicle and that is why the gauges are sweeping as they are. Now that is one successful programming session. Now, if you wanna go in and say adjust some of your other features, you would press and hold the cruise cancel button again to enter the programming menu and it'll do its familiar gauge sweep up to 140. So that tells us we have now entered the programming menu. So now we have the option to use the res and set button to go through the different programming modes. So again, we have the, we've already set our uh, speed limiter. Uh, the 20 mile per hour marker indicates the TPMS adjustment. 30 mile per hour is tire size correction. 40 mile per hour is axle ratio. 50 mile per hour is clear DTCs. 60 mile per hour is auto start stop disable. And 70 mile per hour is the DFM disable. So let's go to say 60. 60 is the auto start stop disable. Now this is a feature that a lot of people don't really like on these vehicles. Um, you do have the option here on the dash uh, to turn off the auto start stop button here, but you have to press that manually each time you get in the vehicle if you wanna shut off that mode. So in this case, we can turn that programming off indefinitely through the Pulsar LT on the steering wheel control uh, options here. So now that we've selected 60 on the speedometer, we'll go ahead and hit the cruise cancel button. And that is selecting that we are now in the auto start stop disable mode. 
Okay, so we have selected the 60 mile per hour programming option, which is the auto start stop disable. Now there are two options within this programming menu for auto start stop, and that is basically on or off. If you have the uh, speedometer set to 10 mile per hour in this instance, that means that auto start stop is disabled. Or you can use the resin set button to go down to zero mile per hour, which means that auto start stop is enabled. So because we want to dis deactivate it in this particular uh, session, we're gonna go to the 10 mile per hour mark. Now from here, we do the same process we did on the previous setting. You press cruise cancel and it'll program it and sweep up to 140 and sweep back. And that is indicating that we have successfully turned off the auto start stop feature. Now this same process can be repeated for any of the seven adjustable options within the Pulsar LT. You press and hold cruise, cancel until the gauge sweeps up to 140. And then simply using the up and down scrolling wheel here on the resin set, you can adjust to any of the seven modes, press the cruise cancel button to enter that activation mode, and then refer to your manual, which will go over what steps co correlate to which options. You know, in some of the applications, we have different tire sizes and axle gear ratios based off of different numbers. So there is a chart in your manual that will explain that process for each of these features. Now, when we are all done uh, programming those options, after each successful programming session is done, it will just take you right back to the power level control menu. Once you have used the programming menu to make all of your programmable adjustments to your Silverado, you can then go back and just start the vehicle like normal, press and hold the brake, press the start button, and it'll start up the vehicle. And now we can get into the power level adjustment. The Pulsar LT has throttle sensitivity adjustments for multiple power levels. Now, this process is very simple to use and uses the same cruise control features that we've used on other applications. So from here, we can now enter into the cruise control menu. Right now, my cruise control is off and I can press the up arrow to go into power level one, two, three, four, and five. So we have five throttle sensitivity adjustments on the Pulsar LT. Of course, each of them is increasing the performance over stock and your manual will detail the power levels for your specific application. But anytime you want to adjust your power levels, just simply hit the up and down arrow on the cruise control with the cruise control off. Now, if you notice, if we come into the vehicle and say we're going into this menu right now, we're in power level one. If we turn on the cruise control, now when we use this up arrow, the screen's not responding at all. That's because we are no longer in the power level adjustment menu. You have to turn the cruise control off while the vehicle's running. So that should give you a full comprehensive guide on how to control your Pulsar LT and maximize it for your needs.